Hello, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. And today we are solving a puzzle called Slow Arrow by Philip Newman. This was posted in GAS on March 1st, 2025. And it is an arrow Sudoku. So we're placing the digits one through nine once each in each row, each column, and each outline three by three region. And in addition to that, we have some arrows in the grid. And the way these work is that the digits along the arrow have to sum to whatever number is in the attached circle. For example, these three digits have to sum to this digit. So because this is a six, if we make these two as low as possible, one and two, we actually end up getting the biggest possible digit that we can put in a Sudoku, which is nine. Um, this 5 here, this is either going to be 1 and 3 summing to 9, or 1 and 2 summing to 8. It's got to be pretty big, and because there's already a 9 in the region, that's going to be an 8 with a 1 and a 2. There's also a 5 here, so those again will be some combination of 1 and 2, 1 and 3, and that will be 8 or 9. I see another 6 on a link 3 arrow, that will have to be 9 with a 1-2 pair. Four in two cells, if they can't see each other, which they can't hear, will always be three and one, and that makes this a two and a one, which kind of bounces back and takes care of some of this stuff. Also, it tells us there's not a three on this arrow, so it's going to be one, two, five, like that, and that is going to make it sum eight. So now that there's a nine in these cells, because this nine sees these cells. Um, there's a hidden eight in this region, that's the only place for eight in the region, and now we can place five and seven. And these digits are going to be 4, 6, and 9 to finish off the row. That can't be a 9. That can't be a 6 or a 9 because it's on a 5 arrow, so it's a 4, and I'm going to place a 1 there. And now I know that this link 3 arrow cannot have a 1 anywhere on it, so it must be the smallest possible value that doesn't have a 1 on it, because there's only one way to do this in Sudoku. It's 2, 3, and 4 that sum to 9. Now we have a sum of 7 here that doesn't use a 1 and doesn't use a 3. So we can't do 1 plus 6, we can't do 3 plus 4, so it's going to have to be 2 plus 5. In this row, in this region, we still need 3, 7, and 4. That can't be a 4. So the 9 is either 3 plus 6, or 4 plus 5, or 7 plus 2. And it could be any of those at this point. So these three digits are going to have to be 2, 5, 6. But because we have a 2 and 5 in this column already, that one is going to be a 6. So that's not a 6, meaning this is not a 3. But that doesn't quite settle it yet, so we'll get back to that in a little bit. Last two digits in the column are 1 and 8. 8 is way too big to go on an arrow, so that'll be our 1, with a 2 and a 1 here. Now what's the last digit here? 1, 2, and 3 would work. That would make 6. 1, 3, and 4 would work, that would make 8, but we have a 4 in this column already. And finally, 1, 3, and 5 would work, which would make 9, but there's already a 9 in the row. So this must be 1, 3, and 2 with a 6. The 2 resolves this. And this is the only place for a 9 in the region at this point, and we still need a 4 and an 8, which we can place right now. Here we're going to need a 3 and a 7 to finish this region, and a 6 to finish the column and a 7 and an 8 to finish this region. And that can't be a 4. We need to place a 5 and 7 in this region that can't go in any of these cells, so they'll have to go into these two cells, meaning that these three cells contain 3, 8, and 9. That can't be correct. 3, 4, and 8. Um, that's not an 8, that's a 4. Uh, and then these guys are going to be 1, 2, and 6. That must be a 2, because there's a 1 and 6 there already. That's my 6, and that's my 1, and now 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7, making that a 5, and making the cell above it a 7. So now the only remaining digit in this row is going to be a 9. These are going to be 3, 5, and 8, which we can place based on the digits in the columns below them. That can't be a 9, so my 9 goes right here. This is going to be a 7 to finish the column. These are going to be 3, 4, and 6. There's a 6, a 3, and a 4. And these are going to be 2, 3, and 8. Now I can't put an 8 on this arrow, that would give me a minimum of 12, which is definitely not going to work. So that's 2, 3, 4, summing to 9, and that actually resolves. And that can't be a 4 now. And what do I need here? 6, and then I need 1, 5, and 7 to finish this region. 5 and 1. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's lovely slow arrow. Hope you liked that one. Uh, the link to check it out yourself is in the description below this video. And I will see you again three days from now. Catch you later.